Before I get started with this video, let me give a shout out to my patron Jason on Patreon for sending me the story. As y'all know, if y'all send me a story and you are a patron a member of mine, you know your video gets top priority. That's why I suggest that if you want your video or topic that you sent me to be put out there as soon as possible, that that is what you join. I might have to make a um a Patreon based video just um mentioning how that works. Um like I said, top priority videos are update videos, videos sent to me by Patreon members and Triple P's. Those always get to jump the line because of, I would say, their level of, uh, I guess you could say, importance. Not saying any other video is not, but those really get top priority on my channel. Or uh, a huge like breaking um, news story that I feel needs to really be put out there. Unless I specify that I'm saving it for my... Um, Friday live stream but this story right here that I'm uh, mentioning or about to talk about today is a shooting that you can see that happened in Vegas and it and it happened um early Thursday morning but they just ended up catching the shooter uh and identifying him um today I mean a couple of days ago on the 5th so the person that they have identified as the shooter his name is Jesus or Jesus J. Yarib. I'm guessing that's how you pronounce his name. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right or not. But basically what happened was this guy just randomly walked up into a gas station and just fired 20 shots inside of a inside of a gas station. And one person ended up dead because of it. And one of the things that um Jason had left in the message that he has sent me was taken in alive. Like this guy went on a shooting rampage. He killed one, and I'm gonna show you his victim, um, which is leading many to believe this might have been racially motivated. And then he was taken in alive. So this is him walking in the store with the gun before the shooting ensued. But I'm gonna go ahead and read the article. A 22 year old man dressed in battle gear fired at least 20 shots outside. And inside a Las Vegas convenience store, killing a man sitting in a parked car, but missing customers in store aisles, a prosecutor said Friday. So this guy just went, just went in there and just started shooting like crazy uh, inside of the store. But when he went outside, he saw the guy sitting in the car and just shot into the car and he ended up killing him. So he only killed one person. He only killed one person. The suspect, Jesus Javier Uribe, refused to attend a, school, a scheduled court appearance on multiple felony charges, including murder and attempted murder, following his arrest Thursday at a house in southwest Las Vegas, following what police characterized as a random criminal act. Now, listen to that. This guy did all of that, and he did not even go to his court hearing for multiple felony charges that included murder and attempted murder so this guy randomly walked up into a store shot at random people went outside killed somebody sitting in a car and when he's scheduled to have a court appearance he just doesn't show up he doesn't go they need to go and scoop his little terroristic ass up because in my opinion this is a act of terrorism in my opinion a judge acknowledged Uribe's absence and ordered him held in jail without bail pending arraignment Tuesday in Las Vegas. Justice court on charges also including robbery, burglary, and illegal discharge of a weapon. Prosecutors Richard Scow said later that police found 13 bullet casings outside the store where Curtis Leon Abraham, age 36, was shot several times while sitting in a vehicle waiting for his girlfriend inside. Abraham was pronounced dead at a hospital, police said. Police said Yareeb shot into an unoccupied vehicle outside the store before he was seen on security video striding inside, the wielding a handgun and wearing a tactical vest and a gun belt. Abraham's little I'm sorry, Abraham's girlfriend hid with a store clerk in a refrigerator cooler, Scow said, while other people escaped out the back door. Seven bullet cases were found inside the store, but no one there was hit by gunfire. Yareeb also was accused of robbing a person in a street confrontation before arriving at the store. Police said a tip led to Yareeb 
came after officials issued a public plea for help, characterizing the shooting as a random act and releasing a photo of the gunman entering the store. The gunman took items from the store and left the area on foot, police said. So this right here, like I said, this is a picture of the gunman. What I'm about to do is pause the video right quick so I can show you a picture of the victim. Okay, this right here, this is the victim. His name was Curtis Leon Abraham, and he was the only person that was killed in this, in my opinion, domestic terrorist attack. Like, that's just how I'm personally labeling it. They're probably not going to label it that, but that's what I'm going to call it. And it's just, you know, it's really unfortunate what happened to this guy. And, you know, it's crazy because it said that his girlfriend was inside the store. She could have died, too. And, you know, but they said she hid in the um the, the um the refrigerator or the area where they keep cold stuff with the store clerk and everybody else escaped out the back door. So imagine you that random shooting happens right there. Like you don't know what's going on. All you hear is gunfire and you're panicking. You're just hoping that you don't get hit by one of those bullets and die. Or get injured, period. And then when everything, the dust kind of settles, you go outside and you see your 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 boyfriend riddled with bullets and he's not responding. So you got to think, she's probably so traumatized at this moment. One, she's in the store just, you know, maybe getting something like some snacks or whatever that she was getting from the store. All of a sudden, she's running and hiding for her life. And then after almost being killed herself, she steps outside and sees that her boyfriend is dead from that same person that you were hiding from. Now, they said this guy shot 13 bullets into this car. Mind you, they said 20 bullets were fired in total. So that means only seven shots were fired inside of the store. And the other 13 were fired at this car. Now, this is the part where some people think that it was racially motivated, but they're probably not going to rule that out. But you got to wonder, what would make you shoot 13 bullets into one car because you saw one person and then only shoot seven inside of a store where there were several people and you didn't hit not one of them. You just went in there and just started shooting wildly. Because that's what the that's what the article said. Let me go back and make sure that I did not misread. They said at least it says he fired at least 20 shots outside and inside. Basically, that's a combination of both. So it was 20 shots in total. They said thir they found 13 bullet casings outside the store where Curtis Leon Abraham was shot several times. So most of the shooting came from out, uh, outside of the store. So he did this shooting. Most likely before he went in the store. So he killed Curtis Leon Abraham already. And then he went into the store to shoot seven more people. And my guess is maybe he, the reason why he only shot seven in the store, he probably ran out of bullets. He probably ran out of bullets. But he shot most of them in the car because, see, some could argue that him being shot inside of this car was an ambush attack. Because, you know, when you're in a car and you have people like right there, you don't have a quick time to react, especially if you're comfortable in your car. You got to like really quickly try to duck. And if you have your seatbelt on, your seatbelt is holding you from going all the way down, depending on what type of seatbelt it is. You don't have time to think. And no one's thinking like someone's going to just walk, walk up to me and randomly just start shooting. No one's going to like think that no one is that high alert. And he shot and he killed him. 13 bullets. Now, it doesn't say how many bullets entered his body or even what bullet took him out or, you know, where at in the body he got hit. At this point, it doesn't matter because, unfortunately, this man is dead. He was murdered by this terrorist. And then he went in the store and tried to kill more people. But like I said, my, own, my own assumption is that he, the shooter, ran out of bullets. That's my assumption, and which is why he, he only shot seven in the store. But he still shot 13 into this car because he saw a target that could not get away from him. Unlike the ones in the store, they could run and duck and hide. 
Because from what it looks like, the guy didn't go all the way. He went in the store, but he didn't go that far. He just started shooting randomly to whoever he could see. And then it says that, you know, he has other charges on top of that. Of what was it? Burglary, the legal use of a gun, and a bunch of other things. That's crazy. But that's just my extra take on this situation and it's very sad and it's very unfortunate what happened um i offer my condolences not only to his girlfriend but also to his family like that's not some news you want to wake up to that's that's just wild it's very it's very sad when you think about it like you to lose a loved one in such a tragic way and then when they said vegas shooting i keep thinking of stephen paddock and you know stephen paddock back in 2017 was uh, when he did what he did that was i don't even have to rehash that many of you already know that story i did several videos about that on my old channel as a matter of fact that was one of the videos that got that uh channel terminated because of how i titled the video but um yeah it's just it's messed up and I think I might have to stay on top of this story right here because I'm invested now because I want to see what kind of punishment this person is actually going to get. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. And like I said, if you are on Patreon or a patron of mine, these type of videos, I said, will get type priority like ahead of all the other ones like that. Y'all get to really jump the line. Like I said, imagine if you was able to if y'all sent me commentaries or videos or ideas and y'all was a patron of mine. A lot of the videos that y'all or I did y'all would have seen or want or uh, gave me would have been up already instead of me being kind of backlogged with the stuff that is being put out there.